Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this box, I've got a spring reverb pedal that I've never tried before. Crazy, right? You'd think I'd tried them all. And this is one that a lot of people have asked me about over the years. And it just so happened that the ducks lined up, the universe lined up, so that I was in contact with the guy over there at, make sure I get this right, Crazy Tube Circuits. This is the White Whale Reverb. I know it's a favorite of a fellow YouTuber, Jay Leonard J. He keeps one on his board. He was excited to find out that I've got one incoming. Oops. Try not to cut myself here. Made your surgery to get this box open, right? All right, here we go. White Whale, the sticker says Insane Tone. We're gonna find out. Will this tone drive me insane? It is a pretty big pedal, which shouldn't be a surprise considering there is a spring in there. I hear something rattling around. It's not big in the directions that, um, you know, my Surfy Bear reverbs are. What kind of power does this need? It only needs 64 milliamps at nine volts. That's also different from the, uh, the Surfy Bear, which is a power hungry beast. I'll leave this out in case I need it. It has expression for the reverb and the tremolo. The two and three toggle switch selects between different reverb voicings. Two mode is brighter with less mids and slightly less decay. Mode three is full tilt reverb. And then there's a black and brown toggle for the tremolo. For the time being, I'm gonna use my Hallmark Swiftwing unless I decide otherwise. All right, let's check this out. Reverb first? Obviously reverb first, right? Ah, that's, that's good to know. I was a little worried. It was really quiet. The volume is independent of the tremolo over here. This is a master volume. That is a spring reverb, that is for sure. Interesting kind of like metallic clangy bounce to that trail. I'm gonna dime the mix and the dwell and the, yeah, let's dime it all.
first impressions are telling me that no, this is not a drippy surfy reverb. It is a spring reverb though. It definitely has this real spring character to it. <laughs> I wish the mix went a little bit richer. I'll say that. The number three selection on there is obviously more my flavor. It's just more. It's more reverb. That's what I like. the tremolo side now. That sounds nice. Nice and smooth. expression control. Should I get into that? It sounds like there's internal controls to determine uh, what you are affecting with the expression. Let's see if it's set up stock to do anything.
So as it's set up right now, the expression is controlling the speed. You set the knob for your minimum or heel value. I mean, I could set it all the way down there, but it's so painfully slow. You'll wait all day <laughs> for that swell to kick in. But then you can ramp it all the way up. Or maybe that's maximum. Ooh, I think it might be maximum speed. Yeah, the speed knob controls your heel position. That's for sure. <laughs> We're exploring and learning together. All right, what does the reverb expression control in stock position? I just dropped my pick, how embarrassing. All right, new pick from my pocket. I think it might just be mix. And smartly, the mix knob represents the toe position on your expression pedal. All right, I wanna take a peek inside this thing. So this has got trim pots and whatnot in there. There might be other fun stuff to see. I want to see uh, what the whole spring situation is. Oh, wow. There we go. There's the spring unit attached to the back plate here. Can I crash it? Yeah. It's a real spring, you can really crash it. Okay, so there is the tremolo expression switch. And there is the reverb expression switch. I don't see a trim pot, but I thought I read about there being a trim pot. Oh, okay. So you can control uh, the tremolo with a tap tempo by switching it from expression to tap control, it's, it's so obvious. <laughs> and then the reverb, uh, the other option is for remote switching. So if you flick it over here to effects SW, you can use a remote switcher to turn the reverb and the tremolo on and off. Interesting options. Okay, so that, that, uh, that trim pot that I was mentioning it controls the tremolo waveform and depth. And it's through this hole. You have to go through two holes in the circuit board to reach it. I'm not gonna dick with it. I don't wanna mess with it. But uh, yeah, you go through that hole and then there's another hole in the board underneath it. And you start, you know, messing with it that way. I'm not curious enough to, uh, to mess with that setting. But it's neat to know that it's there, right? Get a little bit more creative now. I want to hit this thing with some effects. I just plugged in my pedal board. So of course the pedal board is running before the white whale here because I want to see how it reacts when I hit it with some overdrive.
it better with some dirt hitting it. Jay told me, Jay Leonard Jay told me that it's got kind of like a spaghetti western sort of thing going on with it. I, I'm getting that vibe. It's got that kind of thin, shaking spring like, like bouncy sort of vibe to it. It's not really the, the heavy drippy cavernous sorts of hollow sounds I find in the uh, drippy surf reverbs that I explore. But I think there's merit here. What do you guys think? You like the sounds that this is making? <laughs> Fuzz time. Question sometimes about you know various different you know real spring pedals that are mounted to pedal boards like oh is it gonna crash and splash when you click on it or you know do other things on your pedal board this seems to be pretty resilient and really pounding the table I can get a shake out of it but I don't know, I'd be surprised if you get too much noise out of your pedal board just clicking it. I mean, clicking it, it's got a soft switch. There's nothing going on there. You'd have to try really hard to get a, a splash out of this, is what I'm saying. That's a good thing or a bad thing, depending on who you are, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
you can really hear the physical nature of the spring in the signal. You can hear like the signal like like routing through it. It's got this like shaking bounce to it that is a uh, it's pretty fun. There's something fun about that. I don't think this is the reverb solution for someone searching out, you know, that drippy, surfy sort of sound. But if you want that springy, bouncy sort of sound that you can get out of, you know, an in amp reverb, maybe your amp doesn't have the reverb that you want, this could be it. I think it sounds cool. It's got some cool features. The tremolo sounds nice. You've got some expression control there and some other options with those, uh, those dip switches and whatnot. I don't know, what do you guys think? What do you think of the sound of the White Whale by Crazy Tube Circuits? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, click the links if you're curious about these at all. And you know what? Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me a rude and nasty comment. Support us on Patreon. Uh, huge thanks to Crazy Tube Circuits for sending this out to me. This, by the way, is a product provided only demo. There was no money exchange hands or anything like that. Just so you can know, you know, the full transparency behind these sorts of deals. So anyways, bye everyone. Stay grounded.